So with its latest launch, OnePlus has been very much a friend of anyone who wants to top up on their tech, but is also unfortunately rather skint. And these pleasingly affordable devices are all part of OnePlus's Nord family. It's got a couple of cheapy Nord smartphones and also the OnePlus Nord Buds, which cost under 50 quid, but do the basics really, really well. These compact, water-resistant true wireless earbuds boast full touch controls. You've got some impressive 12.4mm titanium drivers packed in there and excellent battery life. Just don't expect any kind of flair like active noise cancellation for that £49 price tag. Now, I've had the OnePlus Nord Buds stuffed inside of my head for the last week or so, using them as my full-time true wireless earbuds. Here's my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, design, and certainly do not expect any wildly vibrant colour options from the OnePlus Nord Buds. You've basically got uh, this black slate option, otherwise white marble. And one of the things I like about the design of these buds is they're pretty compact. They do have stems, unfortunately, dangling down, but they are only very short. They're certainly not drooping down all the way to your chin area like some of them seem to. And you've got a selection of differently sized silicon tips to stick on the end so you can find the perfect snug fit for your lug holes and I found that the compact lightweight design the fact that those stems don't dangle too much means that these buds don't move around they don't shift about when you are walking and wearing them at the same time and again the fact that they aren't oversized and they are rather lightweight they only weigh five grams each roughly means that they're also very comfortable to rock in your ears all afternoon long until eventually the usual ear fatigue sets in. And a particularly great part of the design of the OnePlus Nord Buds is the IP55 water resistance as well because these things have been drizzled on an awful lot these last few days. In fact, I got caught in a particularly torrential downpour just a few days ago coming back from a Google event. Thankfully, they survived no problems whatsoever. And that water resistance also extends to sweat. Yum. So if you're going to be rocking them down the gym or while you're panned on the pavement or whatever, then no worries. Now, if you happen to rock a OnePlus branded smartphone, well, good news, you've got the quick connect feature with OnePlus Nord Buds as well. So just open up the case and immediately the two will begin to pair up. You just got to hit done and that's it. And there's also no need to download a separate app in order to control and customize the OnePlus Nord Buds. All you've got to do is head into the Bluetooth settings and then select the Nord Buds and then hit up earbud functions. And from within here, you can check the battery life, play around with the audio presets, mess around with the touch controls, and you've also got a quick start guide and an occasionally useful find my earbuds feature if they tend to squirrel themselves away down the back of the sofa. But don't worry yourself if you don't have a OnePlus branded smartphone. All you need to do is download the Hey Melody app from the likes of the Google Play Store, and you'll be able to once again customize the touch controls and all that good stuff. So let's move on to the controls. And sadly, there's no sensors in the OnePlus Nord Buds to detect when one of them or both of them have been plucked from your lug holes to therefore pause whatever you're listening to. You will have to manually pause and then resume your content. However, these little circular doohickeys up towards the top end of the stem aren't just for sure. They are actually touch sensitive panels. And the touch controls are pretty simple and straightforward, but they do work really, really well. Just a quick tap of either of the buds will pause and then resume your audio, your podcast, your music, whatever. A uh, double tap will skip you forward a track and a triple tap will skip you back a track. And while some earbuds, you've got to spend some time with them to really get used to how the touch controls worked. I found here on the OnePlus Nord Buds, they were perfectly intuitive. I just, you know, stuck them on my ears and immediately got on with them absolutely fine, perfectly responsive. As I mentioned before, you can customize the touch controls, though only to a sort of minor degree. I set it up so basically a double tap of the left bud would skip me back a track and a double tap of the right bud would skip me forwards and then just deactivated the triple tap just to save time. You can also set it up so a long press of either bud will activate your smartphone assistant for instance but I just left that turned off. Sadly there's no way of tweaking the volume up or down uh, with any of the touch controls. You will have to do that via your smartphone instead. Those dinky stems do actually come in kind of handy because it means you can pluck one of the Nord Buds from your local, have a quick chat with someone without accidentally fumbling those touch controls and skipping tracks and all kinds of carnage. Now it's perhaps unshockingly kind of difficult to find a pair of true wireless earbuds under 50 quid that support active noise cancellation and the OnePlus Nord Buds are no different. No NC here whatsoever, although OnePlus does reckon they come packing some noise cancelling algorithms. Although frankly, I'm thinking that these algorithms have probably buggered off for an extended tea break because they seem to do naff all. 
The one ball ache for me using these things as my true LSA buds for the past week or so has been the fact that they don't cut down on any of the external clamor going on whatsoever. You don't even really get some proper noise isolation just from the silicon bud being stuffed inside of your lug hole. So even when I'm wearing these, certainly if I'm not listening to any podcast or music, I can hear absolutely everything going on around me. And when I head outside, you know, hitting the high street or in stores or bars or restaurants or anything like that, as long as I'm blaring really loud metal music, then that's fine. I can't hear anything else. I'm in my own little peace bubble. But as soon as I try to stick it on a podcast or an audio book, suddenly all that noise is coming at me again. And I find that certainly if I'm walking down a high street, for instance, with traffic going by me, I have to turn the volume up really loud to hear what is going on because sometimes the vocals and everything are drowned out. So if you are out and about quite a lot or you're looking for true wireless earbuds to keep you occupied while you're traveling, then I would say perhaps look elsewhere. I have reviewed some earbuds from the likes of Xiaomi, for instance, which do support noise cancellation, only cost about sort of 20 or 30 quid more than this. So it's probably worth bumping up your budget just to save your lug holes, if nothing else. However, where I was really impressed with the OnePlus Nord Buds was the audio quality. Each of these buds comes packing a 12.4 mil titanium driver, the same as OnePlus's more premium Buds Pro. So certainly at this sort of price point, the audio quality is fantastic. You know, you've got the full range on shore, the highs and the lows don't overpower one another. And when you're listening to more complex tracks, you can generally make out each individual element. Sadly, you don't get a full on equalizer option with the Nord Buds. You can't manually tweak the audio output if you have a particular preference for the lows, the highs. You do get a small number of presets. I wasn't a massive fan of the bass preset, but I did quite like the bold one. That just made everything sound a bit more beefy. And certainly no complaints with the volume here. These things can hit almost 100 decibels on the maximum volume, so they will absolutely blast your eardrums to bits. You've got support for the likes of AAC, Dolby Atmos support as well, so you can get that proper surround sound effect with supported content, so that's all great to see. And I had no issues at all uh, watching a bit of Netflix or YouTube, any of the video streaming services while wearing these. The video and the audio are always perfectly synced. And if you're planning on making any actual phone calls with OnePlus Nord Buds, well, I felt that my voice generally comes through quite cleanly, crisply, and clearly if I'm in a quiet environment like I am right now. But as soon as there's any traffic noise or anything, as I'm now simulating using my smartphone. I found that this does tend to make my voice more sort of muffled and soft and a little bit harder to understand, even though the traffic noises are mostly cut out. I'm guessing that's that pesky algorithm in action. On the battery life front, OnePlus reckons you get around seven hours of use on a single charge from the OnePlus Nord Buds, and I found it in my test, and that was pretty much bang on. So between seven and seven and a half hours is what I tended to get. Now, certainly one of the better results out there, especially again at this sort of budget price point. And when you do find that the buds are drained, if you do need a recharge, just shove them back inside the rather bulky case and you should get just over three full recharges from this thing before the case itself also needs a charge up via Type-C USB. And this never happened to me, but if you do somehow manage to fully drain the OnePlus Nord Buds and you still want to wear them for even longer, well, no worries, just chuck them in the case for 10 minutes or so. And that'll give you around four to five hours of full on playback. And that's some crazy fast charging right there. And it does take around an hour in total to fully charge them up. But seriously, if you just want to get an extra few hours out of this thing, no worries. Of course, you can tell just from the case itself that these are budget buds because it is rather plasticky and not very attractive and also rather huge and awkwardly shaped as well. So very much not comfortable to slip inside of the jeans. I found that at least one of these sharp corners would always be digging into my prostate at any given moment. But anyhow, that is my full, frank, in-depth review of the OnePlus Nord Buds after using them as my true wireless earbuds for a full week. And as I say, it's kind of a shame that they don't really help to block out any of the crap going on all around you because if they did, I would have absolutely no problem heartily recommending them. The battery life is fantastic. Audio quality, really good for this price as well. I quite like the, uh, the design as well. But if you're not going to be listening to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts while you're out and about and you're not really too bothered about having any kind of noise cancellation, then definitely go for it. So that's my full OnePlus Nord Buds review. As I say, 49 quid available in the UK right now. What do you guys reckon? Are you tempted? Have you been using the OnePlus Nord Buds? It'd be great to hear from you down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, yada, yada, yada. Have yourselves a bloody great rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.